everyone welcome to this update video i trust and hope you're doing really great this morning maybe you're in prep mode if you're in florida and potentially under that hurricane warning or even in the yucatan right so now where conditions are likely already unfolded there so we have tropical storm helene which is expected to rapidly intensify in the gulf of mexico into a major hurricane some of our models still calling for cat 4 or even a cat 5 at maximum from helene so we're going to be looking at the latest uh data will be talking about uh, what is possible down the road as well because I have noticed a recent trend in regards to the models suggesting something coming towards the Caribbean and maybe developing as it does so. So we'll be briefly looking at that as well later down in the video. And of course the short term for the Caribbean in terms of rainfall activity. But uh, Helene is really going to be the main focus of this update. But as we look at the graphic here, it's not just Helene. We have our other two areas to watch. One, a tropical wave just, uh, well, offshore Africa actually and we can see it in red high 80 percent chance of formation over the course of the next five days and the formation chance through the next two days is at 50 percent so that is likely to develop into a tropical depression we can see that curvature expected so it is unlikely that the system is going to uh head into the caribbean thanks to the weakening in that area of high pressure because a stronger high pushes more of these systems to the west and then to the northeast of bermuda we have another area now that one uh it is a non tropical low pressure area however it may be in conditions that may be supportive enough to allow for for it to gain some tropical characteristics and potentially become a subtropical cyclone over the course of the next couple of days. So we'll watch for that as well. And here we are now going on to the satellite imagery and here we can see Helene is massive right now entering the Gulf of Mexico. It is a massive tropical storm and uh, was associated with the remnants of John. So uh, John made landfall two days ago as a major hurricane in Mexico and the remnants uh, of it that are associated may try to redevelop over there. And uh, even loiter offshore Mexico or just along the coast. So we'll see how that goes. But then uh, there is an approaching tropical wave still enhancing the weather for parts of the Lesser Antilles. There's that other one out there, the disturbance, given that uh, pretty high chance of formation. And another one will be emerging. So the one after this one is going to be the spot to watch for potential Caribbean impacts as we head into early October. And up there is that non-tropical low pressure area. We can see some thunderstorms being produced. So again, it could take advantage of uh, the environment and try to acquire some tropical characteristics and maybe become something of note. Who knows? But as we head on to Helene in the Caribbean here, we can see. So uh, with, with that tropical wave that is approaching the region, there is some thunderstorm activity in parts of, well, earlier in Martinique, but now through uh, no in parts of Dominica. So you can let me know what's been happening even a couple spots in barbados as well earlier this morning uh there was some thunderstorm activity for some areas much as in happening such as the leeward islands or other parts of the leeward islands and even sections of trinidad and tobago but the weather is going to remain mostly unstable in this area as the wave approaches. But as for Helene, we can see that impacts are far from where the center of the system is. The center is just offshore of the, uh, the northern Yucatan Peninsula. So impacts go as far as Jamaica earlier. Uh, some rainfall actually woke me up. Some heavy rain uh, actually woke me up earlier. So there's been a lot of rain around the Western Caribbean. The weather has been so unstable and Helene will continue to influence the rainfall even as it lifts up into the Eastern Gulf of Mexico. And we see how massive it is uh, now, but it is expected to grow even more in size. So impacts will be uh, widespread and that is why we shouldn't just focus on where the system is going in terms of the center the cone is there to track the center of the system not the size so let's go on to the rainfall forecast and then we'll move on a bit more to helene so here we go and as we see more color that indicates more rainfall activity. So for parts of the Yucatan and even the westernmost part of Cuba uh, and even Isle of Youth, there could be some decent rainfall, probably exceeding three and a half, going up to four inches across some areas. And impacts will also be spreading into Florida. So as I said, Helene is very massive. The system won't be making landfall until around uh, Thursday night 
but impacts are likely to start from now with those outer bands approaching with uh, those rains and storms and even potentially heightening the risk of tornadoes as well. And then even as we head to the Cayman Islands, especially for Grand Cayman, there's likely to be more rain, more heavy rainfall today. So some areas have been flooded. I've seen the comments from you guys and there's a pretty decent likelihood of additional downpours, heavy downpours today. And in parts of Jamaica as well, there could be some additional periods of heavy rain, not for all of the island though. Scattered showers and thunderstorms likely across parts of the Bahamas, maybe Turks and Caicos, uh, and even for sections of Hispaniola going to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and again through the Lesser Antilles with that approaching tropical wave there is going to be those thunderstorms and even some periods of heavy rain as well. ABC Islands, much is not anticipated, neither is there much anticipated for the Guyanas. So that includes Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana, heading to Central America. There could be some heavy rain just along the Pacific coast of the territories, especially for Nicaragua, where we see some of those more uh, vibrant shadings or more colorful shadings. San Andreas Providencia, I think, should be uh, clearing up a bit more for you guys. So uh, when Helene was a depression or even just a disturbance there, there was a lot of rain in the area. So that's going to be improving today. Now, Helene is currently a strong tropical storm with maximum sustained winds up to 65 miles per hour and accelerating to the northwest at, uh, at 9 miles per hour. Now, as it enters the Gulf, it is going to be accelerating a lot quicker, but it is also expected to quickly intensify. So if the system was going to be continuing this pace, there is a chance it could have been, uh, it could be way stronger than whatever the peak intensity of it will be because it is going to be entering a favorable environment for strengthening. So hurricane warning is currently in effect for parts of the northeastern section of the Yucatan. We still have that tropical storm warning for uh, Isle of Youth and other parts of western Cuba and for most of the state of Florida. As I said guys, Helene is going to grow in size. Even though the center will be in the eastern Gulf, it's going to be so massive that tropical storm conditions will be likely as far as uh, even up to South Carolina once the system is going to be moving in and for the entire state of Florida. So we're not exactly focusing on where it's going to go in terms of the exact track of the center because it's a massive, it's going to be a massive hurricane. But then for the entire uh, north western part of florida so that would include the big bed area under that hurricane warning so again helene is going to be making landfall well tomorrow night uh going into very early friday morning so it is going to be uh, likely to strengthen into a major hurricane as of now the national hurricane center is calling for a peak intensity with winds of 120 miles per hour some of our models as i said suggest in cat 4 even a few suggest in cat 5 from helene we'll see what happens but now today is the final day to ensure that all preparations are made if you're told to evacuate please listen to your local officials uh, please do not take any unnecessary risks either because this is a very dangerous situation that is going to unfold as we head into tomorrow. But then as Helene moves inland, it's going to quickly weaken. Why? It will be cut off from its main source of fuel and energy, which is those very warm waters. So it is going to quickly weaken and eventually dissipate as it accelerates further into the states. So that is what is anticipated in terms of the track of Helene and potential intensity. But uh, for the impacts, there's going to be that major storm surge up to 15 feet within that hurricane warning area for Florida. That is caused by the winds of the system pushing the water on short. So the surge is definitely going to be devastating. And uh, even in terms of, as I mentioned earlier, that threat of tornadoes as well with the system. So it's not just about the hurricane winds, but this is approaching the U.S. And all of that unstable weather could definitely trigger some tornadoes across some areas. And then, of course, those very strong winds and the plethora off a rainfall so that is what is to anticipate as it pertains to helene guys now we're going to be drifting to what is anticipated down the road potentially for the caribbean so let's get straight into it so this is just what a couple models have been anticipating so first we're looking at the euro model and this is as you're going to be heading into friday of next week october 4th now euro is showing that we could see something else try to get itself together in the gulf of mexico we see all these green shadings indicating the precipitation rate also seeing those isobars which are the black squiggly lines and what appears to be maybe a strong tropical wave approaching the caribbean then we have the canadian model instead of a strong tropical wave it is showing a defined system potentially a hurricane uh, approaching by that time late Friday next week and another system trying to get itself together in the Gulf. 
and as for the icon model icon is it doesn't go as far out compared to the other models but it is also suggesting that area developing as it heads to the west and this is for wednesday the second so not for friday this model is two days behind compared to the ones i just showed you but we're seeing those trends there so maybe not just one but two or even three systems out there because i mean uh, we have our current disturbance out there which may try to develop there's that other one northeast of bermuda even though it's not going to be a weather for anyone for right now and then that next tropical wave to emerge so a very interested week is up ahead guys and of course i'm here to take you through it i'm here to give you the updates so that you'll always be aware of what is going on in the tropics and so that is essentially what i wanted to share with you in this update video again if you're being affected by helene if you're in the northwest caribbean or if you're to be affected please ensure that you take every necessary precaution guys again this is a very dangerous situation that is going to unfold there is very very high confidence that helene is going to become a major hurricane and make landfall as such so that's it for now i may do another update video later today if necessary and i hope you found this one to be informative though and if you do have any questions please feel free to drop them down in the comments i will respond to you once i have the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise